What's up, people? Back with another 52 week money challenge. I'm still saving money. Um, you know, thanks to the people who follow me on my journey with this 52 week money challenge. Um, uh, last uploaded a video on the uh, 13th, so that was last week. Um, I got paid again uh, Friday. When did I get paid? I got paid on the 17th. So like I said, I'm taking $260 out every two weeks to put in my uh, water jug that I've been uh, doing since November. And I'm gonna to continue to do this for a whole year. So it is uh, July, we're going into August. I said, uh, November is slowly approaching. I like even with the, the pandemic going on, I'm able to save $260 every two weeks. I'm thankful to still have a job. My job is they're doing layoffs. And come September, I believe. Now, from what I'm understanding and the information that they put out on the website, they're only going back five years. So all the people five years and under, they're gonna be laid off, which is sad. And um, me, I'm safe because I, uh, I have 13 years at my job. But there's a lot of people on that list that I know. You know what I'm saying? You Over the years, you working at a job, you meet people, you, you know, that you get cool with, you hang out with, you, you know, have conversation with and stuff like that. And, you know, um, so they're able to collect unemployment and stuff like that. But, you know, that's why people, that's why it's very important to always save money for a rainy day. But some people don't believe in saving money. They, you know, they make the money and spend the money and don't think about putting nothing aside for anything you know that comes up in the future but you, you got to think outside the box you know what I'm saying working for somebody else you know you're going to work punching the clock you're getting a paycheck you're earning a living but man a lot of businesses are you know they closed down over the years you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm 44 years old I've seen a lot of businesses just close for whatever reason you know I had I worked in a restaurant at, at some time in my life where I actually went to work and the doors was boarded up. They just went out of business without even telling people. And that was sad for some people, you know, people crying, they got car notes, they got rent, they got mortgage to pay and stuff like that. But at that particular time, I was younger and I had more energy to work two jobs. So I had two jobs. So the one job closed, I called my other job, asked them, could I come in? They was like, yeah. Sure, like I said, I worked in the restaurant business for some years and, you know, I just wanted to, you know, go another direction in my life, so I started something different. But like I said, right now, the job I'm at, I've been there 13 years. It's a nice, stable job, but as you know, working for some people, working for another person is, is not really safe and secure as a lot of people think. And one day I was just sleeping. I said, you know what? I'm gonna just start saving money in the water jug to try to motivate people. You know, just video it and put it on YouTube. You know, sometimes people like to see visual progress. You know, also, you know, hands on learning and training and stuff like that. Like, you know, I can sit here and tell people, oh, yeah, I'm saving money in the bank which I know a lot of people like, well, nowadays you have to have a bank account because everything is digital and online and stuff like that. But when you visually do something that gives people or it should give people a little bit more motivation to push to want to do something more. And um, that's that's where I'm at with that. So I'm, I'm just, I've always been a person that likes to, uh, 
grind and hustle. I don't mind hard work. I don't mind getting my hands dirty per se. And you remember years ago when, you know, you wanted something as a child and you had to actually work for it. I know I did. I had to do dishes, you know, take out the garbage, clean the house, something like that, some yard work. I basically, you know, I had to earn mine. So once you earn that money, and you know, your mom or your, your relatives or whoever gave it to you, you appreciated that money when you went out and spent it and you took care of whatever you bought. But it seems like nowadays, a lot of people is blowing money faster than they can make it. They living above their means and you gotta think ahead of time and for the future. And you know, if you got kids and stuff like that, you gotta spend your money wisely, you know what I'm saying? I, I was never about competing with somebody, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people out here is competing with other people who don't even care about them. So when you go spend $300 on some Gucci slippers, something that can do the same thing as these right here. These are Puma slippers, my lady bought them. I think she paid about $10 for them. They do the same thing as the Gucci slippers do. But like I said, we so we so programmed on a name and an image and you know trying to impress other people that a lot of people cannot get ahead. They will not get ahead. They don't have the mindset of a hustler or an entrepreneur. And I, I cut some grass this weekend. Like I, I normally, well on my day off, I cut, I'm off Thursday and Friday. I normally cut a friend of mine's grass on my days off and I only charge her $20 you know she really doesn't have anybody to do it so I, I come a pretty good distance I come 40 miles from my house to her house and I do it as a favor and I only charge her $20 but that that particular day so I'm cutting that grass you know I told her she don't have to be home you can just cash at me or whatever so I cut her grass and her neighbor came out and said could you do mine you know she had a you know a little strip of grass so I said sure you know I gave her a price I said you want me to do it she said yeah so I did that and then as I'm cutting that another lady came out from down the street she was like you know when you done do you mind coming up here and taking a look at mine so I'm like yeah sure so just in that day on that one block I cut three people's grass and it was hot I was in a hundred and something degrees so the one lady, I, you know, I gave her a price. I only told her $15. She wanted some weeds pulled up. I said, if you can afford $15, you know, she was like, yeah, cool. So I, I did it. You know, I pulled the weeds and stuff. I made her front look nice. And, you know, at first I told her I couldn't do it because I didn't have the tools that I needed to do her front. I only bought what I needed to do my friend's grass. And this lady had every tool that I needed. She said, I'm the type of person that I buy tools just because, you know, to keep, just in case she needs somebody to do some work for her. And I was like, wow, I've never seen, you don't see too many women that do that, buy tools just to have, which I think is a very good, that's a very good thing. Cause you, you ask certain people, especially if you're a homeowner or you rent, you ask them if they got a screwdriver, they don't even own a screwdriver but you own a two or $300 shirt. Like, come on, you, you gotta think better than that. You know what I'm saying? Even though you're not able to do the work, I tell people buying tools is, is something that you should have when you living in a house. Anything can go wrong if you, if you don't have a particular tool or something like that to fix what breaks or get you out of a problem or you know just to lend to somebody else to fix your problem. As I said, you got, you got a plan. Try to think ahead, not think before things happen, not when they happen, you know, be, be prepared. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't go fishing without a fishing rod. Um, but anyway, long story short, like I, I did that lady front and I told her my initial price was $15. It wasn't much. This lady gave me a $50 tip on top of the $15. I was like, wow. And now I got, I got that money right here. So that's the extra money right here that she gave me. 
it go to $260. So between that and this right here, you know, I'm putting this in my water jug. So that's, so that's where I'm at with that. Like I said, I, I like to hustle. I like to get money. I don't mind getting my hands dirty and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this money in this water jug. You know, I'm gonna add what the lady gave me plus the, the 260. And um, also, I hit I hit a milestone. I've reached, check the other day I was at 500 subscribers, which is a milestone. I said, I appreciate all the people who've been watching my videos. I appreciate the people that share the videos. Please share the videos, fan the videos. You know, I, I know a lot of you people are into Instagram, go on Instagram all day, every day. It's like I got a couple people that I'm really cool with or I thought I was cool with. I tell, I know, I say, what's up? Can you go to my YouTube channel, watch some videos, support what I do, hit the like button, share the video. And it's like, they can't even do that, which is sad. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you, you really find out who your true friends are. You know, watch, watch a minute of the video. You get 24 hours in a day. I know you got 60 seconds, or even if it's 120 seconds, two or three minutes. Just watch a video, support your friends, support small businesses, support positive things and positive people. It's not always about supporting the designers and clothing designers that they don't even know you, they don't care about you. That's why they continue to get rich. Because a lot of brainwashed people out here need to wake up. So uh oh yeah, also I've been looking at some uh videos on heat press and sublimation machines and stuff like that. I think I'm uh start printing some t-shirts up so you know people into that once I once I get that rolling I'm gonna make some t-shirts maybe you know sell a couple try to make some money you know stuff like that but it's, it's all about being an entrepreneur you know having a, a side hustle there's nothing wrong with having a side hustle sometimes you just gotta Put your feelings aside and do different things and stop worrying about what somebody going to say. You know what I'm saying? They, they the same people that's asking for handouts, you know, when they short on money or short on bills and stuff like that. But like I said, I, I try to plan for the future and I also try to teach my kids on how to manage money better and how to make money and stuff like that. And my daughter, she's been selling uh, lip gloss and lip scrub. So I'm going to put her uh, information down below that's on she's she has an instagram channel she also has a youtube channel but she's only 12 so that stuff is kept to a minimum but like i said um i'm gonna put her information down below so you know go so go support my daughter check out her instagram channel and uh you know continue to watch my videos like i said hit that like button you know subscribe to the channel if you didn't already share the video spam the video put this video put my videos on you know every platform instagram facebook you know, TikTok, or whatever if you're into that but um i appreciate all my subscribers you know and stay tuned for more videos like i said i, I will continue to save money in this water jug until november Peace. Yeah.